what can you say about Paris? If you haven't been there, go. If you have, go again. One of the most romantic and historically fascinating cities in the world. It's worth the trip for the art alone. The Louvre, the Musée d'Orsay, the Musée Rodin, but of course there's so much more. Today on City by City, we'll explore the city of light, taking you to a world-class pastry shop, a left bank design hotel, and a three-stop tour of the Parisian nightlife. Most of you shopaholics know Paris is home to some of the most famous and creative designers in the world. For our first stop though, we'll take a look at a different sort of artiste. They call him the Picasso of pastries. Pierre Hermé is indeed an artist, but his palette includes truffle cream, toasted hazelnuts, rose petal cream, passion fruit, fresh raspberries, and of course chocolate. Cakes, tarts, pâtés, macaroons, and more chocolate, this dazzling pastry boutique is designed to look like a jewelry store filled with sweet, sparkling, one-of-a-kind gems. With hugely popular shops in Japan, Hermé is an international phenomenon. Now, back to headquarters, the Hotel Bel Ami. Located on the left bank in the heart of the stylish Saint-Germain district, Soothing modern design plus the fabulous central location close to cafes, parks, the Seine and exquisite shopping make this former 18th century textile factory highly recommended. In need of rejuvenation? Take a nap or try out the wellness center, sauna, massage, fitness room. If you're not in the mood for that, there's always the old standby, a refreshing cocktail. When evening comes, pay a visit to Alcazar, a contemporary reinvention of the traditional French brasserie. When we did open 10 years ago, we were probably the first one very modern and contemporary in Paris. If you can see our, our, around the world here, you have uh, probably one of the best uh, photograph collections in Paris. With a split-level design, changing photography exhibits and an enormous high skylight glass roof. On street level, the restaurant features modern French cuisine, on the mezzanine a trendy DJ bar. In the midst of darkness, light persists. Follow up your meal with a trip to the famous Buddha Bar, a wild, exotic, ornate atmosphere with deep warm colors, candlelight, dark wood, luxurious tapestries, and of course, a giant enthroned Buddha. After you pay your respects, choose to dine in one of the smaller dining areas on creative Asian cuisine, or simply enjoy what this place is famous for, the music. Call it DJ, chill out, lounge, ambient, world fusion. The Buddha Bar is its temple, with its series of world-renowned CDs and sister bars in London, Cairo, Beirut, and other cities. The Buddha continues to spread the word. The Buddha Bar starts in uh, September '96. The particularity of the Buddha Bar Paris is the, the architecture and the, the music. The restaurant is uh, fully booked uh, all the day. Uh, we have two floors in the Buddha, in Buddha Bar. We have the, the first floor is a bar and mezzanine, and the second floor downstairs is um, the restaurant. No evening is complete in Paris without visiting the public bathhouse. Well, not exactly. At one time, it was a Turkish bath, but for well over a decade, Le Bain Douche has been one of the most happening clubs in town, attracting the rich and the famous and the fun-loving. It's 
exactly what Studio 54 was to New York. Le Bandouche was was exactly that to Paris. I can say that it's it's different of the other in Paris because like we tried to turn it into like a gay club and on the weekend time on Saturday and Sunday and it's basically the only gay club in Paris. Still hungry? Dine in its elegant upper floor restaurant, otherwise hit the dance floor to the sounds of some of the greatest DJs in Europe. <laughs> month, a year, in Paris there's no end to the possibilities. Superb food, wine, clothing, entertainment, it's arguably the most beautiful city in the world. I'm Manji Devgan, this is City by City. <laughs> 